Hey, I'm Ella. Hey, I'm Scott. And today we're going to be sharing our 12 top highlights from our three months in Montenegro. 我之前从来没有听过枪声，但是去到黑山之后呢，我听到了很多声枪声，就在我们住的房子的旁边。半夜的时候，人们砰砰砰砰。Yeah. They really like shooting guns. 对，听说是谁家生了儿子，就是会放炮，然后生下女儿就不放。不知道这个是不是真的，可能以前是真的吧。现在可能人们开明了，就不会那样做了。总之就是人们会用那个炮声去呃庆祝一些事情。There was one time where I was driving on the way to Podgorica, and I came across three. Like the oldest was probably fourteen, and the others were like ten, eleven, twelve. Three kids just standing, and they all had massive guns. <laughs> and I was like, "What? What is this place?" <laughs> yeah, the gun culture here is very strong. 对，如果你去山上去玩呀，去徒步的话，然后很容易看到一个猎户，然后可能在拿着一部枪，然后在那边坐着。Dogs here for work. They're either hunting dogs or guard dogs.、Yeah. You can buy guns in Montenegro. Exciting. <laughs> okay, so number two. Is there are lots of strange-looking buildings in Montenegro? Probably not to Montenegrans, but for us, they felt a bit bizarre, and it was really fun just riding around and being like, "Oh, look at that! I've never seen a building built like that before." It sounds kind of funny, but it was like that. There's a bunch of old communist buildings left over from Yugoslavia when it was part of a bunch of other countries all joined together, and the remnants of that are still really strong. So. It's an interesting place to just wander around and be like, "Wow, what is that weird building?" and try and speculate what it's actually for. 第三点就是我去过的任何一个地方都没有听过观鸟是一种活动，但是在黑山呢，你可以去选择观鸟。你雇一个小船，然后去到湖中心去看鸟，比如说鱼鹰。Yeah. 嗯、呃，还有那个就是嘴巴很长很大那个。Oh yeah, the Dalmatian pelican. 对我从来没有那么近距离看过他们，然后就是那次看到发现，哇，他们真的好大好大，在天上看的时候，他们就是很小一只，但是其实他们是很大的，就是非常的优美。Mm. It's funny because you think of like bird watching as being something that the elderly do in their spare time, but I really enjoyed it. Oh, we also saw a bird watching. Mm. Oh yeah. So exciting. Flamingo. Number four is that Montenegro is 80% mountains, but it's also got a huge coastline. So in one day, you can go from the snowy mountain peaks and drive right the way down to the sea, and that is really really cool. It's definitely something that I couldn't do in England. In China, you have to drive for. 你要开车十几个小时去东北看雪，然后你要再开车十几个小时去看海。Yes, it's true. 之前就听说很多国家有一些流浪猫、流浪狗，就是特别的多，呃，而且他们的生存状况也比较好。然后在回山之后，我发现哦，真的耶，那个猫是到处都是。Everywhere. 还有在别人的车顶上，还有房子上、阳台上，还有城墙边，还有游客的镇里面，就是到处都是猫。嗯、mm. ，It's really nice though. It gives the place like a really warm feeling, and all the animals are relatively well looked after. I think as well. 如果你去科特尔的那个城墙，你我觉得你可能会看到跟我们看到的一模一样的那那两只小猫。有有粉丝说他们他们看到过那两只猫。Really? 对，已经是几年前的事了。他们那两只猫还在那里。由<笑>此可见，他们。Uh, he just likes meeting the tourists. How do you feel? Okay, 走吧你。Number six is that wherever we went on hikes or walks, we would always find monasteries in like ridiculously beautiful places and locations on top of the mountains. They seem to steal all the best spots, but it also gave the area like a really interesting atmosphere. It made it feel like Montenegro whenever you're walking around and suddenly, oh, there's another monastery on top of another hill. Hmm. Montenegro, you don't have to do it yourself. Someone else will do it for you. The same in China. Yeah, same in China. Is I think in Montenegro, there are many languages that make me think of China. For example, the train station, for example, the people's houses, and some of the local features. The most important thing is some of the local people's local dialect. For example, the time of eating, people will come out to eat in the street, or when it's hot, they will eat in the street. Or when it's hot, they will eat in the street. Or when it's hot, they will eat in the street. Or when it's hot, they will eat in the street. 晒太阳，聊聊天，就很像云南白沙国的那种状态。It's geographically like in between Western Europe and China, and it kind of embodies both of those things in little ways. Yeah, we just kept seeing little things that reminded us, right? 嗯，感觉挺亲切的。One thing that we were always looking forward to whenever we went into town in Montenegro was the pastries. Ah, <sighs> so good. Gummy. <laughs> There's the baklava. I want this baklava. She was so happy. She said, "Hua lava." This is called baklava. 
Apparently, it's a traditional dessert in Montenegro. Mm. Oh, that's good. It is different. Oh. But yeah. It's like pastry with syrup and currants and raisins and stuff inside. Mm. Coca <laughs> They had loads of stuff like stuff with cheese, which was a bit too much sometimes. We went through a phase of just like getting that every lunchtime. That was so tasty. Really good. Mm. And we even found a pastry shop with like a bar inside it. 说实话，我跟四哥在一起这么长时间了，我对咖啡也没有什么兴趣。虽然他说啊，咖啡好好喝呀，我觉得我没有什么感觉。但是去黑山之后呢，因为去喝咖啡太方便了，到处都是咖